Welcome to another installment of the UIU How-To. I'm Support Specialist Jason Stewart, and in this video we will be showing you the download and install process for the UIUSD. Whether you are a live customer or trialing the product, this process will be nearly identical. To begin, you can download the product by visiting our website at uiuforyou.com. If you are a potential new customer looking to download the trial and have not yet been in contact with our sales staff, you can click on the 30-day trial banner select the UIUSD portal and enter your information. A sales associate will promptly review your submitted information and contact you shortly with your credentials for download. For customers who have already have their credentials, click on the support link from the menu at the top of the site. Click on the UIUSD portal for support request and then select the downloads tab. From this page you can enter your username and password provided to you in your license to begin the download. Since the product download does exceed 8 gigabytes in size, it is recommended that you download using a browser or download management tool that is capable of resuming file downloads should your connection be interrupted during the process. After submitting your credentials, the product will be presented for download as a standard zip file. If downloading such a large file will pose a problem for your connection, our sales staff will be happy to send you product media in the mail at your request. Once you have your media and have it unpacked and available on your primary site server, you will find three folders and four files inside. Close any instances of Configuration Manager and run the setup executable to get started with the installation. The UIUSD setup wizard will then launch to guide you through the installation process. Click Next and agree to our license agreement to proceed. Click Next again and your installation will begin. For trial customers, you will be presented with a trial screen. If you already have a key, you can simply click on the first button. Enter in your license key and click OK. Since we are on the primary site server, the plugin and UIUSD package installation will be the only option available here. Click Next. The installer will then ask for a location where it can store the driver repository. This will also serve as a source location for your UIUSD package that will be created for you in, U in SCCM. If you have a common place that you keep source files for your various packages, it would be a good time to make a directory there specifically for the UIU repository. This location can be either a local hard drive on the site server or a UNC path to a file share. The important point to remember here is that it should be a location that SCCM has access to, and this location should be a permanent home for the driver repository. Changing this location will require either a reinstall of the product or contacting us here at Big Bang for help with some registry edits. I will use the default location, which is inside the UIU program directory on the local drive. Click Continue when you are satisfied. The UIUSD will begin installing. While it's installing, I would like to touch on a few common concerns customers have when thinking about trialing our product. The first concern is SQL Server Compact Edition, which UIU requires to operate. To alleviate the concern, let me state we are not installing an SQL database on your primary site server. The files included in SQL Server CE basically amounts to a few library files that our program will call on during its operations of managing our repository. There are no extra services that will be installed or started with regards to the SQL Server CE. The second concern is how we affect SCCM and whether or not there is a chance that we might interrupt your normal operations that are mission critical. The short answer is no. UIUSD will simply add an option to SCCM to allow for adding our process to a task sequence. Our package, which is created and added to SCCM automatically during this install process, operates just like any other package. It needs to be distributed and updated from time to time. The task sequence item that becomes available is, of course, always optional. You can install UIUSD and continue to operate normally without using the plugin if necessary. Once your installation is complete, you can close the installer, and you will notice a pop up appear in the system tray letting you know that the UIU updater is started. UIU updater is the only process that we start upon installation. For trial customers, the updater merely serves as a contact portal as the trial product does not have access to updates. Whether live or trial, the updater can be disabled if desired, but under normal operations for live customers, you should schedule it to check for updates on a time frame that is convenient for you. 
The updater will never download anything automatically. Instead, it simply alerts you that updates are available. It will require your implicit command to begin a download and update. Because the updates are a differential of what you already have, updates are generally small and do not take very long depending on your connection. Uninstalling the UIUSD is as easy as going into the Programs and Features control panel and selecting to uninstall the UIUSD. I should note here that you should remove the UIUSD task sequence from any task sequences that you added it to before uninstalling. This concludes the download and install video for UIUSD. Look for our next video to explain how the UIUSD operates inside SCCM itself. Thank you for watching.